A new small update was just released for the game making 7 small fixes including to the AMR, Warzone and more. We're going over the patch notes for the update. First, why 3 minutes or less? Well, everyone is making 10 minute videos and I personally can't stand to listen to them, so I figure lots of you are the same, but in order for it to work with YouTube's algorithms, please watch the entire video. Let's jump into it. The update is a server side one, and so when you turn on the game, it will simply search for updates and apply them, after which the new patch will be live for you, so no download required in this one. Yesterday we talked about issues with the Ritek AMR and it not one shot killing with headshots, well today there are several Ritek fixes, but that particular issue is not one of them. So there's a fix for the Ritek AMR not awarding the correct amount of XP when using explosive rounds. There's a second one for explosive rounds, so fixed an issue where the Ritek AMR could one hit kill when using explosive rounds in Battle Royale. The Ritek is currently lagging behind the other sniper rifles because it can't one hit kill with headshots like the other sniper rifles can, so for Warzone especially it's not really the first choice sniper rifle to use, and I'm not sure why the devs have chose not to do that for this particular weapon. The final Ritek fix, a fix for the fully loaded gun perk not functioning as intended when equipping alternate ammunition on the Ritek. Next, a fix for incorrect text appearing on some of the SUV camos. Fixed a bug where the C UAVs could be found in Warzone. And I'm sure counter UAVs will be making their way to the game at some point. There is a big possibility they will be dropping into the buy station in Season 5, as shown in this leaked image. They're still in Warzone right now, but you'll have to purchase and use four regular UAVs at once. This particular issue was for players finding them randomly in loot. Fixed an issue where some players were unable to use field upgrades in free for all, and a fix for an issue where players were able to go AFK while playing all or nothing. So guys, that's a quick breakdown of everything that was added in the latest patch notes. It's just a very small one, seven fixes, but a bigger one will probably be out next week. They do alternate. If you have a question about any of the changes, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Remember to like and share this video so those pesky bots can suggest the video to others, and I appreciate the effort you guys have made in the last couple of videos. With that being said, thanks for watching.